13 weather. This is what January looks like in central Alabama more often than not. It's chilly, it's damp, we've got a cloudy sky, and from those clouds, occasionally we've had some light rain, and every now and then, especially on the mountaintops, Sand Mountain in particular, up toward Albertville and Boaz, and even on Red Mountain and Oak Mountain now and then, we've seen some pellets of sleet, some light snowflakes, no big deal. Most of it just rain, and even where it is coming down is wintry weather. It's above freezing, so there's no trouble with the roads tonight. Roads are going to be dry by the time we drop below freezing. Here's a look at the forecast for the rest of the evening. We're dropping from the mid 40s to the mid 30s first. Then we end up in the 20s tomorrow morning, and it is going to be frosty to start the day with that uh, thick layer of frost because of the higher humidity brought in by this storm system. And then tomorrow afternoon, the sky finally clears, sun's back, and it looks very very nice. In fact, I think Thursday could very well be the nicest day that we have for the next full week and maybe even beyond that too. Here goes the rain and what little snow we have. Uh, some of it falling up on Lookout and Sand Mountains up toward DeKalb County and Jackson County, but even there it's not falling in a heavy enough fashion to really cause any issues. This storm system is the beginning of a train of systems that is going to bring even more wet weather to us. Like I said, tomorrow is probably the nicer day. Friday into Saturday, we get more rain. Saturday will start out wet, but then we turn out to be drier in the afternoon. Saturday's high at 56. Sunday, a partly sunny sky, maybe about as nice as tomorrow, just not quite as much sunshine around the high about 55. So here's how that weekend storm system is going to work. A stripe of very heavy rain over South Alabama late Friday night, early Saturday morning. The farther north you go, the less rain you're going to get. So Coleman, Haleyville, Hamilton, Shotsville, you're probably looking at a small fraction of an inch. Jefferson, Shelby, Chilton, we start increasing those rain totals, maybe up to an inch around Clanton and Rockford, Sylacauga and Lineville. That system moves to the east. Then look at this, a whopper of a snowstorm develops on the north and west side of this low that's just south of D.C. early Saturday. Big snow in parts of New York, Massachusetts, and then up into New England. Behind that for us, the weather is dry again on Sunday. A partly sunny sky there, the high at 55. Monday, we get rain moving in, and Tuesday is an impact day. We get a windy, stormy setup. 40 mile per hour wind gusts are possible. Heavy rainfall, potentially more than two inches in some cases. And there is potential there for a few severe thunderstorms. But right now, we think the greater risk of severe weather Monday night through early Tuesday. Texas, Louisiana toward the Alabama, Florida Gulf Coast. Now there's a chance that could be shifted farther north, but our biggest issues are likely the rain and the wind. In some cases, we could have more than three to four inches of rain southeast of Birmingham from Monday night through Tuesday, and then we dry it out again by next Wednesday. Adrian, Jason is